Hey, good morning everyone. Mangandang umaga, Mayan Buntag, Filipinas. Today I am going to be roasting a pig. It's a great honor to be a lechonero. And in the Philippines, when you roast a pig, it's usually for a big occasion. And there's no other bigger occasion than Mama's birthday. And I get the honor of being one of those who prepares the pig. Now, a lot took place. We got up at three in the morning and there's a lot of stuff I'm not gonna show you on camera just because uh, sensitive viewers might not like the content, but we slaughtered the pig already. We drained the blood, which we saved later for dinner go on uh, and removed the intestines. Then you have to marinate the pig, which is a combination of putting salt, bits in, onion, magic syrup, tamarind leaves, liba leaves, and lemongrass. You let that sit for a while before you start roasting the pig. As you can see, all the lemongrass and leaves, you stuff it inside the belly here in the pig where the intestines were taken out and then you sew it up with some wire. And we're ready to get the fire started and start roasting our pig. So we're getting the fire started here using some dried coconut and that black stuff you see there is called uling. It's what uh, we use in the Philippines as a form of charcoal. It's made up of, uh, I guess, dried up wood. Not sure from what kind of tree, but it burns a long time just like charcoal. Babe, what are you doing over here? Getting you just the flies. keeping the flies away yeah. from the pig? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you say hi yet? Hi. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> there we go. Just gonna let the fire burn a little bit and then we'll add the pig. <laughs> This is how you fan the fire by cheating. <laughs> Go ahead. It's okay. Do do your old fashioned fanning. We'll see the difference. Fanning and cheating <laughs> Ooh, smoke is getting in my eyes you know this fan's actually meant for me <laughs> right now it's time to lift our pig and place it over the pit ready papa You know, as I switch to having my sunglasses on, because my eyes are very sensitive to smoke, I start tearing up immediately. So I'm not trying to be cool, just trying to keep the smoke out of my eyes just a little bit. And as you can see, Papa here is gonna keep rotating. So the idea is to evenly cook the pig and rotate it and rotate it. Okay, so we're gonna have to rotate the pig three to four hours. So I'm gonna take my turn behind the wheel. As you can see, they've also put up a little bit of a heat shield right there, just so the rotator doesn't also cook like the bad boy. Okay. I'm going to relieve Papa on some duties here and take my shift. Thank you, Papa.
So we're about 25 to 30 minutes in. And you can already start seeing the skin cracking on the outside. It means it's good. It's getting plenty of heat and slowly roasting. 20 minutes later. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, guys, is this pitcher is full of uh, cocoa juice, the juice from the coconut. And I'm just going to wipe it onto the pig while Papa is turning it. Good job. Good job. You see uh, Christopher is adding some more ooling to keep the fire going. We're about maybe an hour in. Maybe one to two hours to go. You no exact science depending on the size of the pig. You can just tell when it's done. Pinky, pinky. <laughs> I can't wait to cut off a piece of that skin. Here yeah, guys, one of the most uh, popular parts about the bow boy is the skin. You kind of peel it off and it's like just crispy, fatty goodness. Eat it like a hot potato chip. That's uh, that's the most popular part usually when you roast a pork. Okay, the pig is about 15 minutes from being ready and it smells so good. Hey, no, no. Yeah, hang on. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> One of the best parts of being the Lecherano is first dibs at the skin. Hold that for me. All right. Oh my God. How's the face? I'm in a different world right now. I don't know if you guys heard that, but did you hear that crunch? Let's try that again. Mmm.
Well guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button. Please leave a happy birthday to mama in the comments down below. And as usual, if you're new here and you enjoyed my video, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. I got a party to get to. Bye-bye.